good deep smoke to the top of highway that counters Maluk. So now we said that, you know, you didn't have to put checkers in question. IDK has to keep himself committed to it, can't actually support from Truck because he could open up a flank that would be atrocious for this defense. He runs up to Truck, realizing that maybe there is nobody pushing through, and that is the case. There's seven seconds left, and the quad player is still up. Down he goes, and just in the nick of time, it seems Cooper's got the plan. They've also got three up, they push CT, Bit goes down, and the last man in Z has been spotted, tagged up, and now bagged. Rotator in Dapper, and a little mid control off Coop, but he was tagged early too. So the assists starting to work out, this early damage furthermore with the utility versus Dapper. Nico M, very of the flank, gets the headshot instantaneous. Cooper's removed and Dapper, actual brackets. So bursting out through the apartments is a perfect counteract to this. And even if that didn't actually happen, you'd still have Bit just chewing through. It's even though he is in a pretty good spot to flank, can he get the kills though? There's one and it's 2v3 and he gets to hide as well. No. CTs know where both terrorists are at. Cooper, all that remains. He's going to have to be getting a four frag on the round. Bit's going to stick this bomb for the most part. Now the bodies are lining up and he's just spamming. <laughs> Two bullets. Up. Team one, I mean, they're not worried at all. They're just going to relax, try to hold back the pushes, use the counter flashes and the weaponry they so clearly have as an advantage. A third past him. So you knew that left right punch was, was waiting for you to peek your head out. Now FNS knocked out cold. Dapper's gonna have a chance at an entry, but blinding flashbangs have him pinned behind the coffins. Dapper jumping up as Cooper gets the entry. That's the first rotator down, but the back of the bomb site not clear. It's Nikom in here, oh. and he's got himself a Deagle headshot to win out. Creeping forward, and you can see now that Molotov goes out towards a short position, it's not going to find anyone as Imperial are already up and past it. But yeah, Ziel and KNG finding a couple between them. Destiny's in with another. And actually, this round's fallen apart for Imperial. Things were looking good after they found Cello early on. Now it does just fall to DZT. Oh, they line up for him, though. And we are going to get to see that Imperial march. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Zad wow. sprays down three. Very good control with the Org. Oh, he's not done. He's not done. He Molotov up into the heavens. Maybe something could come of this round, but as it doesn't fall there, this now becomes a tricky one indeed. ZQK not quite able to find anything yet. Now gonna try and go blow for blow with Cello. Will be given the one-on-one -on -one as the reposition from Zan comes in, but there's only 10 seconds. Zan knows he has that clock running down. ZQK baits oh. the peak and he's gonna clutch it in the one. Aerial as well. If this continues, then we're going to have a, a quick series in a you know, oh three-map prediction. Zand is just absolutely tearing them apart again. He's actually oh, too good with the old. Yeah. Oh, going through. Yeah, I'm not going to go for it. And ZQK does get that kill on Long. Follow-up, two headshots on this AWP. Great shot so far, but how much more can he get? INTZ still have a couple of pistols left up, but 20 seconds, it's looking like a done deal unless... Someone can go crazy, and right now they're getting torn to shreds by this orb. Tifo smoke. They now have a very good idea that there's a man holding close to the monster on the other side of it. Oh. oh. Flash through the molly. Uh, doing damage. Sand runs right through it with the spray down from Shears. Two kills. Might even find a third, and yes, he does. It's Cello alone running through the Molotov. Two. The boiler put presence as well, but it's already been shut down in mid from the Imperial guys. DZT and Shears absolutely popping off. KNG is going to try and recover this round, but it's a one on four. It's surely undoable. Well, I mean, you say that. He's, uh, he's certainly got the ball rolling, Hugo. And G to work with. He's tagged up the first man. They try and double peek into him. Oh, oh. no. Uh oh. KNG on to win this out in what was a one versus four. ZQ. Now into the 1v1, and he's going to reposition over towards Ruins. Being very proactive in clearing this portion of the map, making sure that ZQKS can't come from this position. And as he's narrowed it down, oh. he knows he's in. Are they going to read this? Once they found the first man, will they anticipate that the other player is there? They certainly don't. Yell emerges now, and uh-oh, time ticking down, and he's going to find it. Followed up onto Showtime in with a quick double, and now it's Cello hidden away down in the pit. There's no gun for him to retrieve, so a CZ at a dream. Bomb is planted for him. That smoke that rains into it misses its mark somewhat. 
issue they're going to have. Tifa can clear this bomb site. Spots all the close angles, calls it. There's no one there. They're starting to narrow down the options, but Cello wins that initial fight. And now into the one on one. Showtime just tapping the bomb over the top. <laughs> Here's Yelp. He's looking all right, and he's all left as he sits side of the apartments oh. right now. Oh, he's lucky. He's lucky as yell. The smoke going to extinguish that Molotov. And oh, going to continue the luck. Finds another man in through the smoke. He's on three kills, by the way. Not that you would know it, because he hasn't seen anyone yet. Finally sees his, but that's the thing. It was much more of a team effort. Brian TZ, it very much has just been KNG. Even this round, he's literally saved it. They lose two players over a mid, and then KNG kills all but one. This is a pretty able to take that kill, but TRK also gets one. And oh my god, it's so awkward. But drone comes wow. out ahead. They He's maintain ladder as well, which is enormous. And there's Nifty with another double playing in off of Ivy. IDK clearly wary of the potential of drone coming in for the repeat, but he's gone for the long con, double back through Z. So we shall see whether or not this clutch comes into fruition. They also have a that smoke is going to look weird because the drone was just there, right. and the whole point of his rotate was to that. Bomb, however, is pretty far gone. Neither of these players actually have a kit currently on them. They need the kills, and IDK does it. <gasps> IDK, TRK with an element of surprise, peaks wide, drops Kerrigan, but the bomb is still planted. Oh. Nifty's next to go down, and it's TRK with another crucial round, a defuse to follow suit. Dude, can you believe it? He does it again. He gets another Vegas job easy. Couple of T's running into B, oh. and Yon spray down, and he has enough bullets to get... Shoot that mushroom right off your head. Have a bit of a breather before the hit really comes straight through. Drone being set up by the utility on long, but Maluk has a, a chance here, a window of opportunity oh. to hit shots, even despite being blind. It's a solar flare from Catwalk, and he is all right after. Five versus two environment here for Team One, locking it down with this opper. Cutler adds a single car. Two players at long that need to push up. They've got a lot of cover to, to gain, and they don't have cat control. Drone's going to be looking for that oh. cat player. Good headshot versus Maluk. He was going to be the player to drop bodies on the cross. Now it's the ramp control they most certainly need. TRK with the first headshot. We're looking for the multi-frags. It's been a rough round. And he's got himself three to the name already. Nifty on the bomb site. Running in. Does damage, but just can't get these kills in time. Four. Operation of Envy is going to push them up the catwalk straight into Maluk. That second sniper for the CT side. Missing a bullet and taking damage, but still up long enough to find Nifty. Cutler down, and that... Kerrigan missed a shot, and then his teammate as well couldn't uh, finish that off. So Cutler goes ahead and gets Ooh. two nasty one deeks. Three... Like to, and oh. yeah, it looks like he'll just go for the duel. Maluk's right there, oh, and the JDM's shot. got it. That's the space. That's the space. He separates the one versus ones, puts himself in the clutch. It has been a while since we've seen highlight clips from Josh Marzano, but he's still so unsure, but... It seems as though now he has this inkling. Watching all around him, he's got a gap on the cross, and IDK seems to want to clear this straight from above. Does he look beneath? Oh. No! Drone cleared from the corner. It's Bit taking it all on his own shoulders. Now Nifty's chance. Taps into the side of Bit's brain. IDK sticks this defuse down to the last few seconds, and oh, Nifty just barely stopped. He's watching him from the flank from CT, but it's going to be the long wrap coming from KNG. Early peak and not necessarily necessary from Detroni. We'll leave now into a two-on-two two coming back into the site. The time being the biggest issue. That Molotov not going to force JT out into the open. Who will win his duel? It's KNG in the one-on-one -on -one now after getting the trade and elusive. Not giving him the fight, but there it is. As and in with the first cello. Will pick up the trade and elusive on just 18 points of health. Hidden away. Cello knows he has to pick up the pace, but that Molotov's perfect. Forces him out of the open and cello wins the fight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my oh. god. Oh! Someone put a stop to INTZ. Oh, and they're even going to take down Cello as well. KNG still keeping this round alive, but we need this man in the pit to peek wide, and he will. KNG getting the frag. It's even Yell following up, and the bomb's still down on the site, but the last man's been spotted in the library. Right now, INTZ reading bravado like a book as Sonic looks to try and hold on to this round, to this map. But the bomb down here, as long as KNG does not stand up, INTZ will stand tall. 
as the retake comes in from Sonic. He's got a 1v2 to find, already spammed through the smoke, and can't spawn to take him down, maybe a bit more open than we assumed. 30 seconds now for Cello to try and pull out a massive clutch, but this may have just been saved by Bravado. He's going to try and push towards the CT spawn. That Molly should force the peek out into the open. It does. JT tries to go ahead of Cello before he pulls his gun into his hand, but it's not there. Now it's elusive and a one-on-one. -on -one. Ten seconds left. He's got the bomb under his control as well. And Cello now knows where he is. He's got to try and force the peek. The Molly is there. If he wants to win, he's got to grab the formation elsewhere. But I and TZ aren't doing that. Instead, oh. having to play very reactively. And Cello certainly got reactions. My Goodness, look at him go, four kills for our team. Having to sit back as all the hopes of Bravado fall onto one man. Creeping forward, peek out from Cello. Oh. Play games, he wants to keep Bravado here. He's already found two, misses that shot, tries to hop down. Yell, picks it up, INTZ on the defuse, 16 to 12. They're going to take this two.